Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the common source stays with diode connected load and its analysis. Okay. In the previous video, I have explained about the common source stays with resistor connected load. But the fabrication of resistor and diode is very difficult in the MOS technology, CMOS technology. What is that? Fabrication of fabrication of resistor and diode is difficult in the MOS technology, metal oxide semiconductor technology. That's why what we generally do, the action whatever we require with the help of uh, resistor and as well as diode that only implemented with the help of transistor. So, the resistor and diode actions are implemented with the help of transistors only okay so whatever the action we require with the help of diodes or resistors that will be accomplished only with the help of transistors now we are having common source stays with diode connected load common source with diode connected load means we are taking the nmos transistor see previously we have implemented a resistor as a load but what we what i am saying resistor fabrication is difficult that's why in place of resistor we have to use a mass transistor that too for giving high output impedance the gate terminal should be short circuited to the drain the gate terminal should be short circuited to the drain so that it will give a high impedance high resistance or a load resistance RL <coughs> okay so the transistor in the transistor we are just short circuiting the gate and drain terminals in the same transistor <coughs> we are short circuiting the gate and drain terminals when we short circuit the gate and drain terminals it simply acts like a resistor with a high value okay that is the reason why gate and drain are short circuited okay but why the name diode? Why the name diode? Diode is nothing but a two terminal device. Diode is a two terminal device. Okay. By short circuiting the gate and drain, the three terminal device mass transistor will be now converted into a two terminal device with the terminal drain and source. That's why it is a diode. Okay, but we are not using any diode in the analysis. Okay, diode is not used here. Just the name diode is because of that two terminals. Because of two terminals. Now, the equivalent of this transistor with the gate and drainer short circuited is nothing but a resistor. But what is the value of this resistor? That we should calculate. What is the value, equivalent value of this resistor? That we need to calculate see this can be calculated by considering the small signal analysis for this particular transistor let us go for the small signal analysis to calculate the equivalent resistance value okay small signal model small signal model see i told you already what is the equivalent model of the transistor a vgs gate to source vgs and next here we have a dependent current source with gm vgs gm vgs and it is having a internal an internal resistance rd across which we are taking the 
VDS voltage. Okay. Now take some current ID is flowing through this resistor and the same current is also going like this. Okay. This is the drain terminal. That's why ID current. So ID is equal to, I can write it as GM VGS plus what is the current flowing through this resistor RD? I can write it as IDS, VDS by RD. Because this current ID is dividing into this current and as well as this direction. Now see here from this circuit, from this uh, transistor we can understand that gate and drain are short circuited. Here also connect them, gate and drain are short circuited. Gate and drain are short circuited. From this we can, what we can understand, VDS voltage is parallel voltage here and here also. That's why VGS you can equate it to VDS because all these are in parallel as gate and drain are shorted VGS is equal to VDS therefore ID is equal to GM VGS is there so write it as VDS plus GM VDS plus VDS by RD VDS by RD so that is equal to GM plus 1 by RD into VDS that is equal to ID but what we need we need the resistor value that's why VDS by ID is equal to GM plus 1 by RD we can rewrite this equation as uh, it is now 1 by right 1 by GM plus 1 by GM RD. now we can rewrite this equation as 1 by GM into RD by 1 by GM plus RD simplify this you will get the same equation now that is equal to we can write it as 1 by GM parallel RD this is the equivalent resistance RL which is equal to VDS by ID okay now what is the equivalent value of this one equivalent value of this resistor so the transistor with gate and drain short circuited is having a resistance value R is equal to 1 by GM parallel RD okay now use this transistor in the circuit as a load instead of resistor okay that is the meaning of diode connected load okay so I am having this diode connected load at the pull up place and in the pull down place we have same circuit in the pull up place the drain and gate are short circuited this is VDD this is drain terminal gate source from where we are taking the output okay take this as transistor T1 and T2 now what is the equivalent diagram of this one a resistor resistor is not there but the internal on transistor is replaced by a resistor <coughs> here it is V in V out now what is the value of this one 1 by GM parallel RD okay plus VDD now this is transistor T2 as this transistor is T1 take it as EM1 and RD1 because the same parameters may also appear in the case of T2 okay now what is the small signal model small signal model of this above circuit that is plus minus VGS here we have a current source with GM VGS here GM this trans this current source belonging to T2 transistor so GM2 and internally we are having a resistor 
or D2 and the output impedance that comes here which is having GM1 parallel RD1 okay across which we are taking the output <coughs> this is the output coming to the input side input side we are having a voltage source Vn okay now let us calculate the parameters voltage gain voltage gain AV see here onwards the analysis is same analysis is common but additionally we have 1 by GM parallel RD this is the additional component we have previously in the resistor load we have RL but now it is 1 by GM1 parallel RD1 that is only the difference hope you understand okay the value of resistor is different because we are using a transistor in place of resistor so the transistor equivalent value is 1 by GM parallel RD that is we are keeping here and we are calculating the analysis so we are writing the output voltage V out is equal to minus GM VGS GM1 VGS into RD1 parallel RD2 parallel 1 by GM2 or 1 1 by GM1 okay and what about VGS where VGS is VGS is the voltage from gate to source and as well as Vn is also between the same potentials that's why VGS equal to Vn VGS equal to Vn so that is equal to V out is equal to minus Gm 1 Vn into Rd1 parallel Rd2 parallel 1 by Gm1 therefore voltage gain av is equal to v out by vn that is equal to minus gm1 into rd1 parallel rd2 parallel 1 by gm1 this is the voltage gain av and coming to the input impedance and output impedance input impedance is calculated between gate and ground i told you already and source terminal fortunately source terminal is at the ground okay this is the place and here is the place this is the place to calculate zi and it is the place to calculate z naught what is zi from this circuit it is open circuit nothing but infinity what is z naught it is a parallel combination of rd2 and this parallel connection so <coughs> input impedance input impedance r sorry what is the z input impedance zi is equal to infinity open circuited and output impedance output impedance z naught z naught is equal to rd1 parallel rd2 parallel 1 by gm1 this is the output impedance so in this way we can connect, we can calculate the voltage gain input impedance and output impedance for the diode connected load that means we are taking a transistor with a gate and drain short circuited later we have calculated the equivalent resistance value and substituted in the small signal model